this is a demonstration of integration between Oracle Application Builder Cloud Service and Process Cloud Service, where we work with the Travel Approval application. In this application, we're going to have a list of travel requests. So let's create an object called Travel Request. We're going to add fields here. So the destination would be one of the fields. And then we're going to add the cost as another field. This would be a numeric currency field. Yeah, so this is um, all we need for a travel request. We can click Finish. All right, so once we created this business object, if we go to the data designer under business object and look at travel request, there's a tab here for a process. And this allows us to create a new process. We'll call it travel approval. Process. You can have a description if you want here and click Create and then click Save. Save would actually take this process and create it based on the template inside Process Cloud Service. All right, so our process has been created. We can now go and modify the process using the Process Editor. Here we can add, for example, another swim lane and modify the name here. And we can create a new role or choose one of the existing roles, like that. Then we can move this task to be done by another role. Now, one of the nice things about this task is that we can configure it to also access our data. If you go to the data mapper here, under data object, you would see the travel request object with the destination and cost, the two fields that we created in Oracle Application Builder Cloud Service. And we are now mapping them into custom attributes, for example, in our process cloud service. So destination would be attribute string and a cost would be the attribute number one. We can then further customize this task to look at the properties. For example, we can say this is an approve reject action. Okay, and we can customize, for example, the title. Okay. So let's use here an expression that says um, travel to, and then we'll add reference to our custom attribute, string one. And then we can add uh, costs and reference our cost attribute. Let's validate this. Yep, looks OK. We can click OK. And this is how we configured, for example, the title of our task. There's one more thing you need to do. Um, this process needs to access data in Oracle Application Builder Cloud Service. So to do this, it actually uses, um, over here, an integration layer with an ABCS connector. So you would want to go in here and edit this to use security, okay, assuming that you're not using um, no security here. So we'll call this one, for example, my security. Your name doesn't really matter. You use your username and password from Oracle Application Builder Cloud Service to know how to access the REST service. Okay, so this is now set. And we can go back here and save our process and Publish it. Okay. Call this one version one. All right, let's go back to Application Builder Cloud Service. Okay. Um, before we can actually use this process, as we said, the process is accessing our REST service for this business object. So we need to allow him to do this under application settings, security. There's a checkbox here to enable basic authentication access to our object REST API. So click that checkbox. Then you can go back into your business objects, into your process, and deploy it. So click Deploy All. This would take a little while, and it will put your process into Process Cloud Service in a way that you can actually execute it. All right, now our service is done and published. Let's go and work on the user interface for our application. So we have this page that lists the travel request, and then we can click on Create 
and we'll go to this page that shows us a create page for a request. And let's remove this button, for example. And let's take this button, the save and close, and modify it. If we look at the actions it's performing, right, what it does is it saves the record, okay, and then it navigates back to the travel request page, and then it shows a success message. The next thing we wanted to do is actually start the process. So bring in the start process new operation that you have here and associate it with the process you created. Okay. If you want to know that this actually happened, you can also show a message after that. When the workflow started, you can show a message, just an information message saying, uh, waiting for approval. Okay, so here we showed there's a new operation called start process that you can use in, for example, a button in your page. Okay, so this would start the process and then you, we might want to see all our to-do list. So let's add a top new page. We'll call it our to-do page. And over here, we can drag and drop one of our new UI components related to processes. One of them is task list. So drop it on the page and connect the list to a specific process. Okay. In the next step, you can decide which fields to show here. Okay. And you can also decide which page you're going to use to show the more information about this request. So we're going to use the travel request page. Okay, so let's go to this travel request page and modify it. So again, we can see here the basic information from Application Builder Cloud Service, uh, the business object, and we can use the task action over here. Again, hook it up to our specific process, specify, for example, what to say here, okay, whether to show and hide the label. So we can say um, commit, for example, here and then click Finish. On this page, we can further customize. For example, maybe you need some information about the budget that you have. So you can drop here a chart and associate it with another object um, that we have in Application Builder Cloud Service, for example, showing us our travel budget for the past two years. And we can, again, uh, change, for example, the title to say budget, like that. Okay, so now we have this page also done. All right, um, so now we're ready to run our process. So here's our little application and we're going to create a request to travel to London. Let's say this is going to cost us 800 bucks, save and close. So the save actually saves the data and then starts a process. And here we see that now this request is waiting for approval. Okay. If we now go to the to-do list, we should see the request over here. And we can either do the actions of approval reject from here or go see more details. This will take us into our details page, show us the budget, show us the specific request, and then show us a menu of the options that we can have here. So we can do an approve request here, commit it, and this would approve the request. Okay, so let's click the done. And if we'll refresh this page, our task list is now empty. 